Hey everybody, what's up? So, to, this is part two of the DIY. I'm gonna show you one DIY and one life hack, and then, well, yeah. Oh, you want to address that I'm currently selling things on offer, and it's not my face on the picture. It's Nicole Contrast, except I'm, I'm setting some slimes. So, it's not my face in the picture, but it's my mom's face. So, she's blonde and she's floating like that with some pads. Okay. Okay. Well, um, one day what I was going to do. You'll need some paper. Some paper. I got these small little mini papers. They're not the actual. Just you just need any line paper or paper. Scissors. Um, with glue or hot glue. So I'm trying to put it in. Optional if you want. Other but I'll find the secret which works better. A jot, a jot divisor. It's an organizer case. Case. You can use an index case, but uh, we don't got that in my house. So I'm using this. The way I'm going to show you guys it. I lost my camera usually being thick, so okay, you can now see from above and see it. So I'm just going to go like that. So you guys can see the light so you can see my face and that all going to be doing it to this one like this small little space so you want to measure the paper so i suggest cutting the paper in a small little half like about this size so it's using this down okay so you want to see some measures down like that okay guys so you want to cut it to make sure measures down so it's a little bit fattest so we're just going to cut into consistency so like this you want to leave a little bit spreading out because that's for you. So, and then little, then you want to tape that to the side. I'm a little bit fat again. You want to tape that to the side. So, this is how small mine needed to be to fit in as a wall like that like so to fit as a wall you're gonna put it right here you're gonna put it right here as a wall in front of them and then glue it i suggest putting the glue on the paper because if you just put it on there just i don't know it just i don't like that method and enough what i have So, I'll go ahead and glue it and then show you guys what you think. The paper does get super soggy. You guys know how I said that soggy. It gets super soggy and whoa, you don't want that. So, mine's just a little bit off the edge, but that was easy because I just cut a very, very small piece. I just cut a small piece. And then put it right there just to cover it. Just to cover that. So my final touch is this. Is this so? I'll let you guys see. Let me throw some moving out of my arm. So you guys see that it's kind of covered. Okay. 
this one a little bit covered this one with some paper see that that right there that's some paper covering it then you want to go ahead and cut another piece so you only need one paper i suggest probably one paper you only need one but i just got four paper because i wasn't sure so i went ahead and measured it again I find you do need it a little bit more bigger than what you want. So, after I got it to the right thing, I started to glue it. Oh yeah, and um, I know a lot of you guys have been curious, and I've seen a lot of comments on Instagram telling me, what's your favorite YouTube and, and what's your favorite sport? Well, my favorite sport is gymnastics, and I found out about gymnastics by seven gymnastics girls. I love them, go follow them. And the gymnastics too. The gymnastics too were an inspiration. They helped me get my, um, they helped me get my, that walk over that's where you do a bridge and then walk over except i just went like that it's just a back walk over okay so they helped me get it by watching i watched those tutorials and it was super helpful so just shout out to them and shout out to seven gymnastics go for just 10 years if possible <laughs> you know just making them so the next thing you want to do is cover the other one Cover the side. So this one's a little bit hard to do since it was round, but just try your best and hopefully you'll do good. My teacher always told me try your best. And if you don't do good, then you're lost. If you don't do good, then then that's fine. And I think well, oh, that's a nice girl because she. I was in a very smart student back. <laughs> but I'm a very smart student. It was back in like second grade. So, second grade doesn't sound like anyone's smart. So, I'm gonna pause it and wait. So, I wait for me to finish it. That's what I meant to say. But, okay. So, after I'm you're done with that, let me finish it with it, okay? Once you're done taping all the sides, like so. You want to just measure it to cover it like that. So, I did. And this is not really a long process, more of a... So, then you want to just tape it on there. And this is a little bit different. You want to tape it to the side. So... Put this on tissue if you think it get messy because mine's definitely dead. So, trying to put the glue all on the sides kind of got messy. Oh, yeah, guys, there's something I wanted to address with you. Okay, well, can you guess? Can you guys know what a birthday is, right? Don't. No. Shame on you. Well, a birthday is very nice. So I can say. Okay, so the next thing you can do is take that to right there and then put this side out and leave that right. this to your the top on here. So never mind guys don't take them. So tape it on there like so and I just went ahead and cleaned it with my hand but you can clean it with the tissue. 
So, uh, I got a tissue. It's actually toilet paper. And I just clean that out. You don't need to clean it, guys. And then, after you're done doing that, I'm going to take all the stuff away. I'm back. So after you're done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and place the lime in. So make sure everything's really good. And it is well going to see. So just make sure to hang in there. So. Uh, so this is the one. And then I'm just going to. Go ahead and put my sign in there. Make sure your sign doesn't stick to the paper. So just don't put like knob on the sign. And if you always keep it down on your desk, then it will be super good. So can you guys tell that the fly in here? But if you look down there is so you got it's how you to hide slime in your um in your um in your um in your like class but do it at your own risk guys uh, because well it can also it can if you if you think you don't know that you don't allow slime then don't do it I'm not responsible for that. If they, like, if I'm not something good thing in your school, because my, my school, so I'm literally banned, because it's just, it's a distraction. Okay, so, if you know, you're gonna just, it's gonna be a distraction, then definitely don't bring it in. Just use your stay away from home. Or just to play around, guys. Okay, well, the life hack is, the life hack is when you're making slime and you want to add foam to it, add less activator. And then when you're adding your foam, add activator. And add your lotion while you're adding your activator. So the, that was actually sent in, if you guys don't know what that is. Someone sent that in. In Instagram, and it's the life hack. And I told them I would use it, so credits, credits to Kali. I'm uh, not Kali Chick. That's me. Um, credits to Eleven Puppy Chick for that uh, life hack. So credits to Eleven Puppy Chick for the kind of Oceana too. Okay. So and her Gmail is for balancing. I can say anything. Okay. So balancing. So. Follow her on Instagram. It is Oceana um, underscore two. That's her episode account, and and um, Elon Puppy Chicks her regular account. So follow her in order to win a shout out. Well, everybody. Bye. Stay chilling with my billing. What was that? I don't know. <laughs>